Hey everybody, welcome to episode 4 of First Impressions, the show where I play a game for an hour for the first time ever. The first five minutes, totally unedited, followed by a uh, review show. So, here we go. Uh, today we're going to be playing Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. You know, Daytona 500's coming up, it'll be here on Sunday, so I figured, why not? Let's go! Uh, so here we go. Right after, right off the bat, the music is just, whoa! Okay, current track, I mean, let's just start, right? Let's just get right into it. Okay, so we might as well get right into it. Let's start the timer, and let's go. Uh, day I mean, we might as well start with Daytona, right? Daytona's this Sunday, let's go! Uh, Daytona, I mean, a couple left turns. I mean, what else we got here? Who am I? Am I 14? Oh, I gotta choose my car? Okay. I don't know what... I don't know what any of this does, so let's just... Yeah, I like it. It looks great. Have a little check. Now, I'm going into this pretending I'm, like, a monster NASCAR fan, okay? So this is, like, back in the day, you get a NASCAR game, and it's like, wow. Do I just press start? Okay, here we go. Okay, look at this. Drivers, start your engine. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Presentation. This is great. I mean, it's Konami, right? So, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Big bank coming up. It's kind of like, wow. Here we go. I'm going too fast right into the wall. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Difficult. These left turns are very difficult. Gotta ease off the gas. Here we go, straight away. Whoa. I'm liking it so far, I'm liking the graphics. Like, I mean, sure, there's no audience, there's no crowd, there's no scenery or whatever, but look at, it's like, it's like 3D almost for Nintendo. This is a Nintendo entertainment system. This is 3D. And it runs really well. Oh, heads up. Do I go in the pit? No, I don't need a pit sub, do I? Let's see. Fuel, oh, fuel's getting low. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to have to get a chain, pit stop next uh, lap here, I think. Temperature's low. Oil. I don't know what that even means, but sure. Okay, we gotta slow down a bit. That's the key. We gotta hug that corner too. Oh no, we don't like that. I'm beyond lapped, I feel like. I haven't even seen a car. Am I that far behind? Must be. Maybe I should have practiced. I like the little clutch in the bottom right there. A little added touch there. Here we go. Wow, like, I, I, I feel like I didn't even really slow down that much for uh, for me to be just crushed by everybody for me to not even be able to see anybody i mean bill elliott i know but come on i mean like how hard is this okay let's get some fuel oh here we go whoa position what do i do oh crap i missed it did i miss it position 16 no where's my oh geez well i shouldn't have done that let's try that again that again. Oh, now I'm getting lapped. Now I'm getting lapped. I like the sound effects for that. Sounds pretty real. Come on, boys. You're not... Now, how do they pass me going that fast? Come on. What is this? What is this? Now I'm getting lapped. I'm just going all over the place. I think that's why. Okay, here we go. I think I can... Let me at least catch up to this the me being lapped now. Buttons are pretty simple. I mean, you got you got drive and brake. I mean, it's Nintendo. How hard can it be? But I feel like this is for like the hardcore NASCAR enthusiast. I mean, if you could get one of those Nintendo racing wheels back in the day. You'd be. Oh, I got this now. How does he beat me going that fast? I was coasting on that. Oh, here we go. I need it. I need. I gotta get some gas. Or maybe I don't. Okay, is this me? How do I know it's me? Is there a green one? Let's see. Like, how do I know? One. 
How do I know? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. I have no other option. We're just gonna drive this bad boy until I run out of fuel, I guess. Yeah. This, I don't know if I could play this game. <laughs> if I had this, oh man. I mean, you gotta be a NASCAR fan, obviously, right? Uh, it's about five minutes is up, so. There's our five minutes, I'm gonna keep playing. Uh, we're gonna see how far we can take this. Maybe I can at least catch up to guys, or maybe I can win, a, win one of these races, but. Um, that's the first five minutes, there you go. So, Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. I got as far as, I mean, I tried all the tracks. There's four tracks, it seems. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any kind of a, you know, campaign or missions or whatever, anything like that. I mean, obviously, it's Nintendo, but racing games at least had kind of like, you know, Grand Prix and stuff like that. So, there's, I don't think there's any progression in that way. I got as, I just tried all the tracks. I tried all the different cars. Um, I mean, I could have got into the modeling, you know, the different things, but I didn't really understand what I was doing there. Um, so I think I've seen basically what the game has to offer. Uh, my first impressions of the game are, you know, if, if I was a NASCAR fan, then this game would be awesome. And I mean, right away, you see that it's Konami. And as soon as you see Konami, you know, it's going to be a good game because back in the Nintendo days, every single game Konami ever released and almost still today, almost after that new Metal Gear stuff, but you knew it was going to be a good game. So right away, you knew it was going to be good. So one of the first things that you noticed, at least if you play one of the oval tracks, is that they kind of have this cool little vector 3D thing going on. And for the Nintendo days, and for it to run actually that as well as it was running, that's impressive. Now, obviously, there's no audience, there's no crowd, there's no standings, bleachers, or whatever like that. But at the end of the day, it's still like this 3D looking thing. You know, when you when you hit the left turns on those banks, that looks really cool for Nintendo. So if I was a NASCAR guy. And a racing guy and I'm playing this game I mean that's in those days I don't know how much closer you can get to you know the NASCAR experience the gameplay was um, you know it was like your standard kind of racing game right and I'm not really a big Nintendo era racing game guy because I find it's just I don't know I mean you got you gas and you brake and I mean <laughs> I guess it's like every single racing game but I don't know I never liked them it just feels just weird to me so, but I mean, it, again, if you're a NASCAR guy, you can tweak your car, you can do all this kind of stuff. You can pick different cars, do all sorts of stuff like that, you know. The steering actually feels totally fine for a racing game for Nintendo. It feels totally fine. I didn't know how to do any pit changes or pit stops or anything like that. So, that, I mean, that's on me. It's my bad. I should have figured that out. But it's kind of cool that they added that in there and it turns it into like an over-the-head camera kind of mode. So, that's kind of cool. It did see, once I put it on Novice, it did seem a lot easier, I mean, obviously, to play it. And it seemed more fair. Otherwise, guys were just blowing by me. I don't know if it's on my engine, is that I'm not gearing enough. I don't know, but uh, gameplay-wise, it was fine. Now, the graphics, again, I mentioned, I already mentioned the, uh, the cool 3D stuff going on. But, I mean, they had a lot of other cool stuff going on, too. Just the presentation of it. Um, you know, to the, to the very start, where it's like, start your engines. To the engine cockpit kind of view. I mean, for a Nintendo game, having an engine cockpit like that, it's kind of, uh, it just looks cool, right? Like, if you're if you're going for, like, the full-on NASCAR simulation, like, this is a good game, for sure. I didn't think there was going to be any sort of other graphics other than the, the courses, the, the tracks, when I started playing. But then once you go to the other courses, like, the, the country tracks, you know, then you get, actually, you can see grass, and you can see people in the background, and trucks, and all sorts of stuff. So there is kind of a cool background, but... I mean, I guess you either get the 3D effect of uh, driving on the oval tracks, or you just get like a normal, back to a more of a normal racing game look with this. So the music and sound was meh. I mean, if I could give this game a knock, it would definitely be on the music and sound. I mean, really, there's no music once you start playing, which I guess if you're going, again, you're going for that simulation experience, so I get it. The sound, though, that's, I don't know about that. I mean, they got a... Again, they're going for the simulation, but on Nintendo, to just hear that engine revving. I mean, just listen to this. And then once you got that fuel light going, you get the ding into that, then you get the, the, the 
engine sounds. I mean, listen. I mean, listen to this. So I'm not a big fan of the sound of this game, but again, maybe, maybe I'm trying to put myself back in the shoes of a guy playing this for the first time ever, rented it from Blockbuster, whatever. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe it is. So the final question is, do I keep playing this game? Uh, the answer is no. And that's only because I'm not really, a, first of all, I'm not a racing guy. I'm not really a NASCAR guy. And I'm especially not a Nintendo racing guy. So for me, no, pers but that's a personal thing. Do I think this game is garbage? No. I think this game actually could be really good if you were really a fan of all this stuff. So I don't know how to answer that question. Do I, I don't want to keep playing, but I feel like if you liked all this stuff, you should keep playing. So that's my answer for that. Okay, guys, there was Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. Uh, episode 4. First impressions. That's it. Stay tuned for the next one.